heard a lot of proclamation about the light today. And the last text is going to be an exhortation. It's Ephesians 5.14 is what Brother Jeremy's going to preach on. It says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. So this call goes out to wake up and rise from the dead. God never asks us to do anything that he's not going to empower us to do. If he calls us to a work, there is grace to perform that work, even if it is to rise from the dead. To those who hear this call, there is no valid reason to remain asleep or dead since Christ has made the provision and has promised to give us light. Um, I wanted to say a few things about sleep. Um, In the glory, we will have no need to sleep. But while we are here in the body, it's necessary for us to regain our strength. And it's teaching us something. While we sleep, we, um, one thing, we do it in the dark. And our minds are unproductive. We're not really in control of our minds. And we're left vulnerable to our surroundings and to any enemies that we may have. Um, Remember what happened to Sisera when he was asleep? I know that the the Lord wrought that victory, but we can learn from him too. This was not a regular civilian. He was a captain of an army fleeing for his life. But he let his guard down. He went to sleep, and Jael pinned his head to the earth. She took advantage of the liability of sleeping, and he never woke up. Um, Our enemy will show us no mercy if we fall asleep spiritually. In fact, he will exploit it to your demise. Um, Another thing it says is arise from the dead. And I was immediately, I thought about the valley of dry bones in Ezekiel. Um, 37 verse 8, he says, "And And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. But God is not raising us from the dead just to exist. Mm, It goes on to say, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied, and he commanded me, And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Christ will give us light. The breath of God that gave these bodies life is to the light of Christ giving us our understanding. Unless God breathed on that army of corpses, they would remain dead. And unless Christ gives us light, we are left to the gross darkness that we are born into. I like this, um, the topic, the redemptive function. Um, The basic function of light is to be able to see our surroundings rightly. But it isn't the end of it. We don't just sit in a room of light and look at things. Um, The light provides the means for us to be productive and to handle the things that are in the room and to do something Um, productive. Like I was thinking in my kitchen, and especially now this season, it's dark. I turn the light on, but I don't just look at my pretty new appliances. (laughs) I get things out. I I cook dinner for for my family. It's functional. Um, The function of this light that Christ gives us is to be able to prove what is acceptable to God and to walk as children of, of light. If we are unable to prove what is acceptable to the Lord and discern the works of darkness from light, then it will be impossible to live righteously and holy before God. Mm -hmm. And this is a requirement. The light is our way of escape. It illumines our way out. We can see rightly that this world is not our home. Mm -hmm. We see that we're looking for a heavenly country. Um, We see what's in the room, so to speak, and the tools that are available for us to be able to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. And in all this, God is glorified. When a man that was born into darkness is surrounded by darkness, only has ever known darkness, comprehends and prefers the light, salvation has come to that man. 
First Thessalonians 5, verses 5 through 6 says, Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober.